lords and these motherfucking gangsters and bloods and crits start telling you motherfuckers. They gonna tell you that when I get a motherfucking order to move, we going to get my motherfucking sons. They gonna either bow down or they gonna get knocked the fuck down. Bring me my shit. I ain't sending no more motherfucking messages up through the ranks. I'm gonna start chopping the motherfucking heads off. Cause y'all the motherfuckers that's holding the motherfucking shit hostage. The rank and file is not the problem. It's the fake leadership. The motherfuckers that claim to be um, raised and passed, but they can't read the signs. Trying to tell me I ain't reading that shit right. I wrote the fucking code. How the fuck I can't read it? I wrote it. How come I can't read it? I'm the motherfucking Alpha and Omega in this bitch. I am the beginning and the end of this shit. It started with me and it's going to end with me. I raised myself up because I ain't trust you other motherfuckers to do it for me. I raised myself up because I didn't trust you other motherfuckers to do it for me. Look what y'all got my people doing. Look what y'all got my motherfucking kids eating, fighting each other like wild dogs in the street. Look what y'all got them doing. Got them dressing up like the motherfucking invader. Putting on the invader outfits to come in their own communities and destroy them. Look what y'all got them doing to each other. Just divide and conquer shit. Who want to match codes with the master? Who want to see if they more the, the, the chosen one than I am? It's on the flow. It's on the flow. So, that being said, um, in the name of the Queen of Heaven and Earth, I am the Crown Prince of Heaven and Earth. I will be crowned King of King, Lord of Lords. I am the Commander of the Armies of Heaven and Hell. I am the Chosen One. I am the only one that sacrificed what everybody else was too scared to sacrifice. Self. I am the only one that gave everything when nobody else would give nothing. Me. I'm that motherfucker. So, y'all can take it for what y'all want. I can prove it. It's not speculation. It's not insanity. It's not uncertainty. I'm the motherfucking master. I am motherfucking Thutmosis the Temp. Zed Moshe Medu. Thutmosis the Temp. I am him, master, master, self-raised master. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I am the one who walked across the burning sands, alone, without a guide. I am the one who raised myself up from the depths of hell to aspire to the crown of heaven. Ain't none of you lazy, rotten, selfish, self-centered bastards done that. Don't tell me about no politically correct, righteous shit. Because as long as there's oppression, there's no fucking such thing as political correct. So now, make this shit go viral. I bet the motherfuckers scared of that. I bet they scared of that. Watch how fast they block y'all from making this shit go viral. Watch how fast they shut y'all down on their little uh, pro-black ass sites. Yes, many are called, few are chosen. They made me take the fucking test last. I had to take the test last. Out of every motherfucker, thousands of motherfuckers, why it took 2,000 years. Because I had to be the last motherfucker to take the test. The very last one. Why the fuck did they want me last? Because I'm the worst motherfucker and the hardest motherfucker to defeat. If I fuck around and pass the test, then we out of this shit early. They won't even let me take the test before. And just like today, just like today, this is the this is your judgment day number three. This is the third judgment. This is the lion's gate. This is the opening of the way. Any of you motherfuckers won't free. Take this shit to your motherfucking preacher. Tell him to go in his motherfucking study and resolve this matter. If he don't come out of there with a resolution showing you where I'm wrong. Because I didn't show you where I'm right. He got to show you where I'm wrong. 
Get the fuck behind me, Satan. That's what you tell him. Get the fuck behind me, Satan. You fork tone liar. You motherfucker that can't speak the truth. Been a liar from the beginning with no truth in you. Get the fuck behind me, Satan. That's what you tell that motherfucker. I don't care if it's your preacher, your imam, your director of ceremony, your deacon. I don't give a fuck if it's your rabbi. And I don't give a fuck if it's who else. Your Bible Lao. They all know I'm here. The only motherfuckers going to pay attention is the Bible Lao. Because them the niggas that knew how to call me. When the shit can't get right. Them the motherfuckers that knew to send me to get the job done. Know who your seven African Orisha are. Your seven African powers. I'm the last motherfucker they come when they can't get the shit right. When nobody else can't clean the shit up. I'm the last motherfucker they call. They always call me last. You need to be worried about why do they call this motherfucker last. They won't call me before. no. Last. I got to be the last resort. Don't believe me. Send them reporters to Farrakhan House to ask his ass. He'll tell you. Donald Trump, no. Send the reporters to ask Donald Trump why they hiding the son of man in Michigan. Send them. I'm telling y'all, blow this shit out the water on their face. Blow this shit out the water. Tell them to ask Trump in open, why are y'all hiding the son of man in Michigan? They got me trapped in the temple by a blood oath. I'm breaking out this bitch. Now when the next one I come on with, I'm going to be I'm going to be issuing out a draft. It's going to explain what I need and it's going to get the qualifications and it's going to tell them I'm breaking the fucking blood off cuz I'm not staying bound to the temple. You won't keep me bound to the temple. You've done it one too many times. Ain't no motherfucking chains gonna hold this body down no more. We done with that. And I ain't backing down. And I ain't shutting up. And y'all can all kiss my ass if you don't like it. And there's a hundred motherfucking million motherfuckers feel just like me. So, for any of y'all that need me to, I can tie myself to Jay-Z. I can tie myself to Nas. I can tie myself to Tupac. I can tie myself to Puffy Combs. I can tie myself to motherfucking Suge Knight. To motherfucking Snoop Dogg. To James Prince. Understand me. It ain't a motherfucker that's about they goddamn business I'm not directly connected to. Six degrees of separation, I give you fucking three. I give you fucking three. So now... That we all got that understood. And I hope I didn't come across as a complete and utter asshole that I can be sometime. But sometime you got to be an asshole. Sometime you got to be an asshole. I am the motherfucking Sparrow Capistrano. And I am about to go home. Understand what I'm talking about. The marathon about to come to a fucking end. Because I'm about to blow the road up that that bitch on. This is what I'm talking about. The marathon about to come to a fucking end. We're not going to keep my people hostage unnecessarily. This shit is ridiculous. They all know who the fuck I am. They all know I'm here. Clean up my motherfucking shit. Since y'all already know all the answers, y'all know my shit ain't getting cleaned up. You know the, If you know all the answers, I've been trying to tell y'all what the hole up is, but y'all don't want to clean my shit up. No, so Shy Town, stand up, Philly, Baltimore, New York, LA, Phoenix, Dallas, Houston. San Antonio, New Orleans, Macomb, Mississippi, Macon, Mississippi, um, Jackson, Mississippi, Canton, Mississippi, um, 
my whole state of Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Jamaica, Haiti. It's time. With that, we out. Keep your head up. Keep it moving. Tell them to get my shit to the house. Now, yesterday you seen the top of the uh, um, the Notre Dame building catch on fire. What you didn't realize is that the media brush painted it out, but there was a craft that sat there from the time it zapped that cathedral until the damage was done and it was over. It was there for a long time. Most of the people on the ground didn't even notice it. But some of the people's cameras and smartphones caught the footage. And so this is a miniature representation of the Eiffel Tower. So when you look at it and at first you was like, oh, that looked like the Eiffel Tower. This is why. Now, the Eiffel Tower is a tall black um, metal structure. It's a tall black metal structure. But that's important, but not as important as its name. Because in, in decoding the deception, the Eiffel Tower means it's a homonym. It's something that sounds like something else. The Eiffel Tower means the place where the fall took. So when you read in there and they're saying, I seen Lucifer descend from heaven like a bolt to lightning, they commemorated it in France with the Eiffel Tower. This is what the Eiffel Tower was. So this is why they zapped the... Um, Notre Dame because everybody know that Notre Dame mean um, um, the dam or the lady but Notre meant north the lady out of the north know they still talking about ISIS now when we get back to the raising of Hiram this becomes important because we got to know where Hiram is going to be raised at and so in order to determine where he's going to be raised at, we have to go through all of these little bitty jumps to get to where he's going to be. And then we can get back to, yes, Jillian, I fell. Yep, it's a homonym. It's that thing which sounds like something else. It's one of the tools of the deception. You got a lot of Egyptian words and various words around the world in order to keep the the true meaning locked in your subconscious as in the word Abraham they've been screaming all these years and nobody never told you Ab is comedic for heart Ra was comedic for that um, divine light or spark that we all have that God within that universal center the Ra is the light of the soul it's the soul's light within and then you got Kim which means black or the black this is talking about um, as part of that punishment when they say these these people, they, they can see with their eyes, but they don't see hearing with their ears. They won't hear because their hearts is wax cold. Now, around the world, you have um, energy workers reporting the black goo. That's the Kim. It's an artificial representation of something that the Egyptians called the noon. The noon was the primordial waters of creation. What we call dark matter. Dark matter is that stuff that look like black in outer space, which is actually melanin um, in the womb of the universe. So the entire creation is sitting in a ginormous uterus. A ginormous uterus. The biggest uterus that you can possibly imagine can't fit inside this uterus that we all in right now. Because it's the uterus that holds all. Because as the war in heaven has proved, God is no man. God is a woman. That's what the war was about. Hiram, if he was raised, would tell you that. And so as they go through, the, through all of the signs of, of, of raising Hiram, one of the most critical is the pyramid complex. Because that's the greatest signal. Because those three pyramids represent the three stars of the Orion Belt. Now, right here, not too far from where I am, there's three Orions. 
that's an odd coincidence that it's three Orions right here in Michigan, which is actually the right hand. Now, they said the son came from the right hand of the father, but the truth is the son came from the right hand of Mother Earth, which is the state that they call Michigan. And because the symbols is right here, is the chief with the two feathers. And that's why you see um, Chief Pontiac holding up the two fingers. That's the, that's the, the one who speaks the truth, the double-edged sword that comes out of his mouth speaking that truth. And if Hiram raised, then he'd be able to tell you what the Chief Pontiac, who defeated the French, now pay attention, the French at Fort Detroit. Fort Detroit was at that time restricted to what we know today as Belle Isle. And the one who spoke truth in the land that had, he was the chief of the two feathers, or the one who spoke, um, that cut both ways, it's the truth, he was standing on this second, all of the Moors know what I'm talking about when I say that um, Chief Pontiac is standing on this second, that's why he got the two feathers, then the two feathers representing that, okay, so then right here, you got Orion, Lake Orion, and Orion Township, there go your three pyramids, they all match up straight to the sky to your three stars of the Orion belt. Do the math. It's not a secret. So the sun comes from the right hand of the mother, not the father, because they got that wrong because it's Mother Earth, not Father Earth. And now, so how did the ruffians, the three ruffians, come about um, subduing Hiram? So now you get to start to see the picture start to make itself clear. The three ruffians, Job, Norman, the Sumerian pantheon is Anu, Enki, and Enlil. The scientists, the war chief, and the divine ruler. In which it was just one, it was just one that held all three of them positions before they came. And that's why they called him the thrice great. Because he was the great statesman, and he was the great scientist, and he was the great ruler. He was the thrice great. He was great in three different aspects. But it took them three ruffians to try to subdue each aspect. This is what you call your divide and conquer and your destruction of the Tower of Babel. And this is why you're going to find kemetic science all over the world. Because the three ruffians was three Babylonian sociopathic patriarchs who was angry that the mother of heaven and earth, the divine queen who was given first right of reign to her only begotten son that she produced to show them that God is no man. Now, y'all got to understand that. The war in heaven, and the one they call Lucifer, Lucifer is Isis. Jesus is Isis. When you take, all you got to do is go back to the French, I mean to the Greek, and you will see that um, the word I-E-S-O-U-S Pronounced in the Greek pronunciation as I-S-U-S, -S, which pronounces as Isis. They tell you right there. But they always confuse you by keeping the son, the man words in red, and keeping his mother's words in red, so that you will always be confused as to who the warrior is and who the one come to heal after the stuff is towed up. And so... They always did that. But when you get to Revelations, you will see that there was a son of man, as they called him, in mockery. Because they was angry that she told them sociopathic patriarchs that if God was not a woman, let one of them uh, raise their skirt, squat down, pat their loins, and drop them a child, male or female. She did not care. So this is what she was cast down for, but she wasn't cast down. She came and she brought her family to endure the punishment as a family because she was not going to let the one son, the only begotten, take it all on himself, the whole weight, because he was willing to do that for his mama. And so the sister, who they villainize as Lilith, Neef, um, and various other ones, the auntie who they villainized um, later on, but then they call her Bast, 
and then they say that the cats are evil and don't let them in your house and they channel the devil in order to keep you from tuning in to Bast. And this becomes important because now in trying to raise Hiram, we produce what you call masters. These masters are operating off what they call Code 22. What is Code 22? 22 is called the master's number. Example, uh, Tupac Amaru Shakur. For, if you listen to Haitian Jack, he say, man, I told Tupac, you got, you got 22 months, man. You got to vex your grievances for 22 months. And then, you know, you got to kick back for like 22 years. He just told you. 22 years is now. Haitian Jack just told you. So you don't know what the master number is. I'm about to go over it with you. The master number is in masonry. When you get to reach a, attain 